Previously on our channel, you watched us fit our roof fan and solar panel, which went surprisingly well. It is a bit wobbly. <laughs> in this episode, our plan is to insulate the walls and start the framework in preparation for the ply boards. Stay tuned to find out how we get on. First on the agenda was to apply the small sand ending sheets to the walls. These were actually plastic backed ones and they were really hard work to peel, but it didn't take too long. Whilst I was sticking these down, Amrus was up on the roof installing the cable housing over the hole that we've cut for the solar panel wires. Right, so we've got this box. I'm just going to mark where I'm going to put it on. Make sure it's clean. sound deadening sheets up on the wall. Aramis is now having to tackle a small hole. Well, oh. the hole was smaller than that, but... It started to grind down and it was it's another hole. It's just got hole. bigger. So, just gonna quickly weld this. And then we're gonna try and crack on with the rolls of the self adhesive. But for now, it's time for coffee. We're gonna use this sound deadening pads to cover the wheel arch. We used just a few pads on the panel, but we're going to try to cover wheel arch as much as we can. How are we going about it then? We need to literally wrap it. Pretend we didn't write that, but I'm just going to tick it off because... It's, it's done. Yeah, that'll do. So we're just gonna jump on actual insulation on the uh, course cell phone insulation. Which it looks exactly the same like sound did in me. Hopefully it's gonna stick much better. So it's five mil foam, it's self adhesive. So that it should go just straight to the panels. And I think we just let's cut. We purchased this online and again the backing was super tricky to peel. We couldn't figure out if the cold made this harder but upon research most people that have used this or similar have had issues with the plastic backing not being very easy to peel. It wasn't just us getting annoyed with it. It's right, but it's a bit shit. No, we're doing everything on a budget, so everything we're using is cheap. But I don't know whether it's the fact that it's cold, that the back of the vista doesn't peel off. So then when it does peel, you end up taking half the foam with you, and then there's like nothing sticky to stick to the van. And it's infuriating, and it's horrible to cut. So that could just be our terrible uh, application, or this stuff's crap. Who knows? Probably yeah. us. But it's on. This side but looks significantly better than that side. Figuring it out as we go. We've got 20 minutes left. Before it gets dark. Yeah, that's, that's Let's nice. crack on the last 20 minutes. We had plans to finish the adhesive foil, cut and place the Celotex, and fill all the hard to reach areas with recycled plastic fleece. <laughs> Who were we kidding? <laughs> Right, it's been hours. <laughs> we haven't hours. even felt how like three hours just disappeared in no, the sun. To be fair. It, yeah, it's pitch black, but we now have the remnants of not remnants, that's the wrong word. It looks basically like a spaceship and we're probably not even halfway done. No. Nope. Because we've still got the door, sliding door to do and that section there to do. The back, back doors, doors. The, the storage thing. Yeah, so we've got a long way to go and that was at least two and a half hours worth of work just to do that. Don't look too closely though, yeah? We'll be back shortly to Tomorrow. We might be coming back tomorrow yeah. to finish it off. Yeah, I think we've made good progress today. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. We need to finish this job.
we've done half of it so we're just gonna jump straight to the other side and finish it operation insulate the walls yes we got back to it and finally completed the foil adhesive We then started to fill any gaps, hard to reach areas and wall areas with the recycled plastic fleece until we realised that two rolls wouldn't be enough. So we decided to call it a day until we bought some more. So a quick stop at the B&Q just before we go to Wasi. We might need some more insulation. And good thing, B&Q sell these for 22 quid. It's even cheaper than buying them online. Once the rolls were purchased, we headed back to the van and continued filling gaps and wall areas. So it looks like we're going for all possible ways. We're using a self adhesive where we can't put the Celotex. We're using the recycled plastic fleece. I've done this line with Celotex. I'm just going to do this top there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use expanding form all the way around them and I think that should be enough. Once complete we stuck stick pins to the wall areas that needed 25mm sellotex. These were left over from the ceiling and ended up being really useful to fix the sellotex on. Last job of the day was to fill the gaps and prevent the sellotex from moving with expanding foam and yep we ran out of foam. I feel this is becoming a running theme. So that's the progress after today's work. It looks even more like a spaceship. The door and a couple more bits. Other than that, it's looking good. What do you think? Yeah, great. I'm cold and I want to go home now. So, a new weekend began and we are back. Next job was to empty the overhead storage shelf and clean it ready to insulate. It's about time we sorted it out. We wiped the area down and placed the last of the soft closed cell phone which covered the majority of the space. We then filled the gaps with some additional plastic fleece. Aramis had remembered to buy more expanding foam in the week so we were able to finish filling the gaps around the remaining Celotex sheets on the walls and fill any remaining gaps in the pillars and roof beams for extra insulation. It looked like a science experiment gone wrong with foam dripping everywhere. Oh actually, I'm getting out of here, my head. Whilst we let the expanding foam dry, we popped out to Wix, this time to buy our plywood. We purchased four sheets of 8x4 at 5.5mm thickness. <laughs> right, so we got one, two, three, four sheets for now. We really wanted to avoid losing more headspace. It's okay for little ones like me, but it's not much fun when you're six foot one. Hello? Is that a rhyme? Pow! Oh! Once back, Aramis had to figure out a way to cut the hole for the fan and cut correctly placed holes for the spotlights. For some reason, we thought this would be quite easy, but it turns out it was a bit trickier than we thought. So Aramis was careful and took his time making sure it was as accurate as possible. We want to fit this plywood and go home because it's getting cold. I just quickly measure four holes for lights, drill the holes, we just quickly fit that and go. We placed it on the ceiling and amazingly, it was going to fit. Now came the hard part. Somehow we needed to feed the light wires through the holes. It was probably the most awkward thing we did today, but we managed. Then was the test of arm strength, holding the sheet in place whilst we screwed it in. My pathetic arm struggled, but after a few strange noises and a few more screws, it was in. Come back next time as we tackle the rest of the ceiling, paint it black and hopefully fit the plyboards to the walls. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you are enjoying this build. See you next time. Bye.